I didn't confront this situation until I was much older. You just bury it. It's there. You kind of knew it happened, but you don't want to admit it. You don't question the Catholic Church or you go to hell. I think that's fourth grade. This is eighth grade. They kidnapped me on my birthday. These are all my classmates. I went to St. Martin's from ages five to 14. It was our local parish for the Catholic Church. We used to go over the priest's room because he had free Cokes, Sprite, whatever, man. This guy was Superman. Everybody loved him. Our parents thought it was the greatest thing, too. And that's where he began to molest us, was in that room. And, and so you're kind of like, did that just happen? You know, and, and, and he did in a very secretive, kind of unique way. My mom asked me about it, and I just I went the other way. I didn't answer her. You're a little kid. And you're always your parents' kid. You don't want to see your parents hurt. The other part is the shame. You don't have the experience or the wherewithal to process that, formulate rational thought, and, and say, come forward. That's what's unfair to the victims, is that they, they look at us now, and they have a perception of an adult well, that's not who got molested. Who got molested was the innocent little boy. In 2001, when the clergy sex abuse scandal broke, everything changed. One of the huge things was the Boston stories and the Boston crisis. I remember our pastor saying those aren't issues here at St. Martin's, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I grabbed the mic in front of all these people and I said, I'm really sorry to, to tell you guys this, but this happened to me and it happened to a number of your sons. They never did anything about it. So that's why I went public about six months later. There was no intent on our part of suing the church because they couldn't statute limitations run out. I just wanted my buddies to get free counseling. That's it. About a year later, they passed a law which gave you one year to come forward. I wrote that to Gavin Newsom. That was January 2005. My ex-wife and I did a walk from the Golden Gate Bridge to St. Martin's. Another person who had been a victim had jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. I even wrote in this, my goal is to make sure no one else killed themselves. As a result, I carried the torch for all these guys. It has cost me some friendships and some popularity. As difficult as it's been, I would do it all over again. <laughs> my goal was for my kids and all kids to be safe. The toll's been difficult, but I'm holding the church accountable for what happened so there aren't any other little boys or girls that have to go through this.